Okay guys, today we got another video. This is a 10 inch Jake. I got these off of Amazon, they're cheap. Um, I, I'm not really too happy with how the bill glues in there. Um, so I'm not really too worried about it. I'm just gonna use them as practice to paint. I probably won't fish them. Um, you know, the bill just doesn't sit that great in there. Um, I don't think they're as good as the ones from Barlow. They're, they're supposed to be the same blank, but they're not. Um, you know, I, there's some ridges in the plastic still. It's not fully smooth. I could sand it down, but I'm not going to take the time to do that because I'm just going to use this one as practice. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to paint this up for you guys today. Um, just as an idea of a pattern that you guys can use if you want to. Uh, I think it's going to be a gray and gold pattern. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, I guess we'll get started. I have some, a little bit of black residue in, in the chamber right now. And I'm going to go over it with a white. I'm going to be painting the bait gray anyways, so it's not going to matter if it blends. Um, so yeah, I'll get right to it and put on the white base coat, and then we'll do the gray right afterwards. Okay, so the white base coat doesn't have to be that great, because um, we're going to cover it up with gray anyways. So I just got it on there as a base, and then we're gonna go straight into this, straight into this transparent medium gray. Okay, so we got the base gray done. Um, we're gonna heat set this now, and we'll rinse out our brush. So we'll do that right now. Okay, so the heat set's done. And what we're gonna do, I think, is we're gonna take lace and we're gonna wrap it and we're gonna spray it with the black. So we'll get right to that in just a second after I clean my brush. Actually, I take back what I said. I'm not going to, um, I'm not gonna do lace. I'm actually gonna use this stencil and I'm gonna come over with black and then I'm gonna come over with a pearl white on top of that. So let's do the black ray. Okay, so I got the pressure turned down just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna line this stencil up and I'm just gonna spray it. And so now we're gonna take the black and we're gonna go down the back and we're also going to go around the eye with it. Okay, so now we're gonna take some of this pearl satin gold and we're just gonna go do the same exact thing. Um, we're just going to use different pattern, obviously, and we're just going to go over the whole thing again and work our way down. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so there's the gold on there. We're just gonna, it's just kind of a random pattern on the gray, honestly, that we did. And so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this wicked, uh, no, actually, we're gonna take this, uh, this pearl copper and we're gonna go along the back. We did the black first to darken it, and now we're gonna use the pearl copper and it's gonna come over and give it a sheen. Okay, so we'll go over the back. Okay, and now we'll put some black back in the chamber 
Actually, we're going to take some detail black magenta instead of black. And we're just going to go over the back one more time and darken it around the eyes. Okay, so this detail black magenta will let some of that bronze show through, but also darken up the back like we wanted. And we're going to fade it just a little bit down the back. And then we'll take this and we'll finish it up with opaque black. And we're going to touch up right around the face and the eyes. So there's a lot of gray and under, or a lot of gold and undertone of gray, a little bit of bronze in there on the back, and we're gonna leave it like that. So we'll put our name on it and the eyes, and then this bait will be ready for clear coat, and I'll show you guys afterwards after it's clear coated. Okay, guys. So this is the final product here. Um, turned out pretty well. It's got one layer of clear coat on it right now. Uh, it's gonna have to have at least one more layer. Yeah, so it kind of looks like a, a golden crappy color. It's layered very nicely as you can see in the light. It kind of shines and then goes away and shines again. So I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, use clear eyes. I'll be excited to use it in the fall. Still getting ready for musky season and looking forward to using it. I'm gonna use some, some split rings and Probably use five out hooks on this. And so yeah, I'll get it all rigged up and ready to use. So if you like the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.